Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mid-Morning Manna coming to you from, on behalf of Brother Lonnie Mattingly and his precious wife, who is also my director of Mid-Morning Manna and uh, helps me every day with these broadcasts. And I appreciate that so very much. And today or this week, we've been looking at, at the view of Christ as, as we think of Christ, we see him in several different ways and se several different aspects. And you can go back and play some of those earlier ones, but we're on number four today. And the fourth view of Christ is Christ with us. How important it is to recognize that Christ is with us. And in John chapter 14, I want to read these verses, verses one through three. The Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, you know, and the way you know. And and uh, the Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. How can we know the way? And Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord Jesus Christ wants us with him. He is the way. We can, listen, you travel with Jesus, you're going to end up being where Jesus wants you to be on a daily basis, but ultimately he has a plan that we're all going to be together in heaven. He said, I will come again to receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. So it's Christ with us. We'll be with him in heaven. The Bible says in Romans chapter six, verse number four, therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. What a great Savior. And he's not only a Savior that cares about us and that paid a price for us, but he also wants to spend time with us with him, with Christ. We see him as being with him. In Romans chapter 8, verse 17, the Bible says, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, joint heirs with Christ, talking about us, those of us who are saved. If if we are children of God, then we're also heirs, heirs of God. We're, we have an inheritance, an eternal inheritance in heaven forever with God, with the Lord Jesus. What a wonderful, wonderful future we have in store. And if so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. The Lord wants us to be together. He wants you to acknowledge his presence with him on a daily basis. You know, it's not, okay, I, I'm going to do my thing for a while and go my way and run with the old crowd, with the old friends. But then on the weekend, on Sunday, especially Sunday morning, I'm going to, I'm going to go to church and I'm going to get right with God and everything's going to be okay. Listen, my friend, there's more to it than that. God wants to use you. He wants to bless you. And Jesus wants to be with you right here and now. Why do we quench the spirit? Why do we grieve the spirit? Why do we, why do we, we hurt the Lord by neglecting uh, what he has for us that's so much better than anything the world has to offer. And I want to just challenge you today to think about that just a little bit. How am I seeing Christ? Do I see him as someone that he, you know, remember the old song, and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. We're with Christ, folks. We're with him. Those of us who are saved. He's our, he's our big brother, spiritually speaking, that, and we need to be walking with him. We need to be spending time with him on a daily basis. How important that is. Well, let's pray together and we'll go off the air with another song today. And uh, I trust that you'll be preparing to serve the Lord in your life on a daily basis and being in church on Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night, three to thrive, Dr. Lee Robertson used to say. And I believe that's a good plan. Well, let's pray and then we'll hear the music. Heavenly Father, thank you that we have a Savior who wants to be with us. And uh, Lord, we have that opportunity. We can have that fellowship with the Savior on a daily basis. God help us to do it. In Jesus' name, amen.
Yeah. 